Welcome to this video titled Microsoft Fabric vs Power BI. Now you might be thinking, huh, are they not the same thing? Well I can assure you they are two totally different products and in this video I'm going to be telling you the scope of each of those products as well as some of their key features. So let's start off by talking about Power BI. Now Power BI is probably the more well-known product name. It's been around for a lot longer. The core fundamentals of it is that Power BI allows you to connect a wide variety of data sources from small Excel spreadsheets to much larger cloud-based systems such as SharePoint lists, Dataverse, or SQL tables. It will also allow you to connect to on-premise data sources and merge them all together uh, into a report. So this is the next step, which is data transformation. Power BI allows you to transform and prepare data for analysis using the Power Query editor. With Power Query, you can clean and reshape data, merge it and join data from multiple sources and create calculated columns and measures. So you can transform the data as it's coming in in order to present it better in the next step, which is data visualization. Power BI allows you to create interactive dashboards and reports with drag and drop interfaces. You can create a wide variety of visualizations, including bar charts, line charts, donut charts, and maps. Um, it's also worth mentioning that Power BI also has some AI powered features. Power BI uses AI powered insights to help you quickly identify trends, anomalies, and outliers in your data. With quick insights, you can get automated insights with just a few clicks. Now this is a fantastic way of actually surfacing up key valuable insights that you might not have spotted by just looking at a report. Um, it will print it out in human readable text. So what are some use cases for Power BI? So very commonly it's used for sales and marketing analytics. Power BI is a deal tool for sales and marketing analytics, allowing users to easily visualize and analyze data related to product sales, custom demographics, and marketing campaigns. This is probably one of the most commonly used scenario that we see Power BI being used for. Now, although Valto used Power BI for all of our sales and marketing tracking um, to produce dashboards, I've just mocked together here a very quick sample um, Power BI report which shows what a potential sales um, report could look like. So we've got things like value by account name. So this could be our customers and actually seeing how much uh, revenue has been brought in. We could apply things like filters as well to this if we wanted to apply like a date range or maybe certain types of sales that we, we wanted to track. Um, it could be valued by salesperson and account name. So this is actually showing us now our salespeople and actually how much revenue they've each brought in in that time period. And then we can see sales by person by month. So this is again a, a sort of a chart which is showing us the sales have been made by individual months. Now the cool thing about Power BI as well is that all of these are actually interconnected. So say for example if I was to select on Willy Wonka, well, that's a brilliant, brilliant uh, false name there, um, but if I was to click on him you would be able to see that the charts actually change. So we can see actually based on the below um, the charts changing. So if, say for example I will select Bruce Wayne, we could see actually um, he started off in January of 2019 with a really good uh, sales month, but then it dropped off. It's come back up a little bit and then it's dropped back off, but the overall trending line is actually going down for him. So this is just a very, very basic example of how a sales um, Power BI chart could be made. Um, we can, we don't have to view everything in charts as well. If you prefer to view the data inside of a table, you can see here, for example, the salespeople, the total amount of wins they've had, uh, the sort of the count of the, how many quotes have been sent out, and then as a result of that, what percentage is their win rate? So this makes it much easier for sales managers to look at their team and actually understand how their team is performing. But there's so many other examples as well how Power BI, how Power BI is being used um, in all different types of businesses. Um, so sales and marketing is probably the most common, but we also see a lot of financial reporting. Financial reporting is another use of Power BI. Users can use Power BI to analyze and report on financial data such as revenue, expenses, and profit margins. I know, especially for companies which are going through sort of periods of growth, maybe even looking at things like EBITDA and other sort of figures that they have to track from a financial point of view, 
Power BI is a fantastic way of bringing in that data from multiple locations and then presenting it back in a nice report. Um, also, we've got things like supply chain management. Now, supply chain management is another area where Power BI can be useful. Users can use Power BI to track and analyze key metrics such as inventory levels, shipping times, and supplier performance. So you can kind of see um, how that's being used. Um, recently, we saw a, a project where it was a construction company who were actually keeping track of their suppliers and how they were performing. Um, their program managers were actually sort of providing data via a power app that was being brought in um, into Dataverse and then Power BI uh, was pulling that data, which the data was essentially scoring each of these different suppliers every single week. So then over a period of time, over months, potentially even a year, you could see how the performance of those suppliers was actually um, changing, whether it was going up or down. If it was going down, we can trigger automatic notifications to sort of follow up with those. If it's going up, then obviously we want to make sure that we're keeping that relationship with that supplier um, going well. So what are some of the key features of Power BI? So we've already looked at a, a kind of a report, but you can also build these dashboards. Now Power BI provides interactive dashboards that allow users to track real-time data and create visualizations that can be customized and shared with others. Now this is really the game changer of why Power BI is such a fundamental part of the kind of reporting process with inside of organizations is that you can refresh the data um, in, in almost live time um, or you can do it in sort of chunks. So it might be that you do it um, once every two hours, once a day, once a week, whatever is the kind of time frame that suits you. You can also use natural language queries. So Power BI allows users to ask questions in natural language and get answers in the form of visualizations and insights without the need for complex coding or programming. So the reason why Power BI is such a fundamental part of the Power Platform is that Power Platform is all about low code and making things as easy as possible for people to use. So actually you can go into a Power BI report and without having to be a data specialist, you could type in a question. Say for example, we were talking before about those suppliers. It might be that you could type in a question to say, um, who had the best performance score out of all of our suppliers and then it'll bring back and say or oh, maybe joe blogs limited was the, the the best supplier so those are the types of things that you could type in as a natural language query for it to present you back with some core information um, as we mentioned before ai powered insights so power bi uses ai powered insights to automatically identify trends and patterns and data and provide recommendations so this is a again a fundamental feature of power bi that actually again maybe you're not even necessarily looking for certain trends yourself but ai can then look at something and present it back to you in human readable language to say did you know that this particular supplier's performance has been down every single week for the past three months those are the types of ai powered insights that you might not be looking for but it could surface to you and then finally data connectivity now this is again a massive part about power bi is that it allows users to connect a wide variety of data sources including cloud-based and on-premise data and prepare um, the data to be transformed using a variety of different tools and techniques so you could pull in data from all sorts of different places so internally at valto some of our sales and marketing reports they actually pull from multiple places we have it pulling from halo as our kind of crm system we have it pulling from um Zero, um, our kind of uh, accountancy sort of systems. It pulls from loads of different places, some Google type tools that's pulling in leads from our websites, um, third party tools, um, and it's pulling out all of this information to present it back in a structured dashboard. So, what about Microsoft Fabric? So, what is Microsoft Fabric? Now, Fabric is a platform designed to help you build and manage applications that are scalable, reliable, and easy to deploy. It provides a runtime environment specifically for microservices-based applications. Not only that, but Microsoft Fabric also takes care of managing the lifecycle of services running in the cluster. This includes tasks like deployment, scaling, and failover, ensuring that your microservices-based applications are always available and performing optimally. So I just wanted to jump onto the Microsoft website quickly because there's some good visuals on here which show Fabric. Now, Fabric is not just one product. In fact, Power BI actually sits at the front end of 
um, Microsoft Fabric in terms of that's what's providing the kind of visualization elements of it. But there's actually multiple other products which sit underneath Fabric. So think of Fabric like a suite of products, kind of like how we have the Office suite of like Word, uh, PowerPoint, Excel, things like that. Power BI is, is almost like, for example, Excel in the Office suite. So Power BI is part of the Fabric suite. So this breaks down what Fabric is into four core areas. Complete data platform. So overview, give the data teams all the tools they need in a unified experience that helps reduce the cost and effort of data integration, governance, and security. Now, this is fundamental because actually what we're doing here is we're taking the need for some of these kind of much larger teams to manage this data. And actually, because it's a cloud-hosted product, we're not actually needing as much time and money invested into the maintenance of a data platform. It's a single experience. So it helps data engineers, data scientists, analysts, and business users achieve shared goals with software as a service built for collaboration. As well as that, the governance and security allows us to gain end-to-end -end visibility, usage and adoption insights, and industry-leading governance and compliance capabilities. And then we have the unified capacity. Simply billing, sim, sorry, simplify billing and help reduce costs with a single pool of capacity and storage that can be used for every workload. So this means that we can truly scale what we're doing um, with our solutions. We have a lake-centric um, and open type of approach, which means that we can simplify data integration from nearly any source into a single multi-cloud data lake for your entire organization and work from the same copy of data across an analytics, engine, uh, analytics engines and languages. This means you can pull all of your data into one place, so you're not having to mop up loads of different data locations. No data movement, which means that we can create shortcuts between data items across clouds like Azure and AWS without duplication, movement or ownership change. As well as that, we have one copy across all engines. Reduce data duplication by using single copy of data to power all of your workloads. And finally, one lake data hub. Bring your data together in an intuitive hub that's automatically indexed for discovery, sharing, governance, and compliance. So that's our lake-centric approach. So you can see all of this data is stored in one easy um, access lake. We then have built for data culture which is empowering everyone to uncover insights with relevant data, easy to use tools and stunning visual Im visuals embedded into Microsoft 365 apps that you use every day. Direct lake mode, save time for analysts and provide up-to-date insights with fast real-time connection to your data in one lake. Built into Microsoft 365, you can foster data-driven culture by seamlessly and securely following insights into Microsoft 365 apps, including Teams, Excel, PowerPoint, and Outlook. And finally, data-driven data actions, easily set up end-to-end -end solutions to Teams can act quickly in response to time-sensitive events. So with all this data nicely being secured inside of um, uh, our our environment, we can actually integrate it with other Microsoft 365 products. So it might be, say, for example, something gets triggered inside the data to show there's something that's urgent. We could use something like Power Automate or Logic Apps to push a notification into Teams to notify the relevant parties. And finally, powered by AI. Now, everything's got a flavor of AI in it, but nothing is probably as valuable as the AI which is available inside of Microsoft Fabric. It allows us to adapt uh, a data platform that's infused with AI at every layer to help you get more done faster. We can create impactful reports faster, so we can simpli simply describe what you need, including reports, summaries, and calculations, or ask a question, and Copilot will do the rest. Do more with Copilot in Fabric, so use conversational language to create data flows and pipelines, write SQL statements, or even build machine learning models. Now, this really is a game changer because if you're quite new to some of these things, um, then Copilot can really help fast track what you need to know. I know for myself, things like I'm not fantastic at using Excel, um, but I know when I use Copilot inside of Excel, it will help me create the kind of formulas and things like that that I need to, to get the information. And that's the same with the Copilot in Fabric. It'll help you get to what you need to much quicker. And finally, build custom AI models. Fuel your own tailor-made generative AI experiences in Azure AI Studio with curated data seamlessly flowing from Fabric. 
So that's a good overview of uh, the four key pillars of what is Microsoft Fabric. So just a few use cases that we've seen for Microsoft Fabric. So we have e-commerce e platforms where Microsoft Fabric is an ideal platform for building and managing e-commerce applications that require high level of scalability as well as reliability. Um, so such as online marketplaces and shopping carts. So we've seen um, things like clothing websites and things like that um, who have loads of kind of data that's stored on both the products and the sales, all of that being stored inside of Fabric. Um, and then we can use things like the Power BI, which is a product within inside of Fabric, to surface that to actually um, generate the reports as part of it. We've also used Fabric um, for uh, IoT, which is Internet of Things applications. Microsoft Fabric is well suited for building and managing IoT applications that require real-time data processing and analysis, such as smart home systems and industrial automation. So we've worked with companies that have used um, IoT devices um, on machinery for checking things like temperature and weights of things and, and that sort of stuff, which is all then piped back into a live system um, that's hosted um, with a Microsoft Fabric set of tools. Um, also financial services, so Microsoft Fabric is an ideal platform for building and managing financial service applications that require high level of security and reliability, such as online banking and trading platforms. But what about the differences between Fabric and Power BI? So a high level Fabric is focused on building and managing microservices based applications, providing a highly scalable and reliable platform for building and deploying services, whereas Power BI is focused on data analytics and visualization, providing a user-friendly interface for data analyst, uh, analysts and visualization. So although the data is stored within the products of Fabric, such as OneLeg, and maybe using some of the other kind of um, products within Fabric, you're surfacing the report still using Power BI, as Power BI is part of that Fabric suite. So the purpose, as I say, Microsoft Fabric provides a comprehensive platform for building and managing data um, rich applications. Its scope includes managing the life cycle of services running in the cluster, including deployment, scaling, and failover. Whereas Power BI provides a suite of business analytics tools for analyzing data and sharing insights. Its scope includes connecting to a wide variety of data sources, preparing and transforming the data, and creating rich visualizations using a drag and drop interface. So if you imagine the kind of the data and all the kind of processing um, potentially is in the in the kind of cloud of fabric, then it's Power BI, which is actually the one that is surfacing that to users on multiple devices as well. It could be desktop, laptop, tablets, uh, mobile phones. Um, there's so many different ways that you could consume that data via Power BI. If you need any professional assistance with either Power BI or Fabric, then you can contact Balto today for a free one hour consultation. This is where we'll get you in touch with one of our experts that will discuss your data project with you and provide guidance based on thousands of data projects that we've previously run. We'll help you choose what the best product is for the job, um, where best might be to store and process your data, and then discuss next steps with you. The next steps for us, um, we can provide you a uh, workshop, which is basically where we'll come into your office or even do it remotely and speak to you about your project, what you want to achieve, and we can help provide guidance um, throughout that project. There is a link in the description of this video for you to contact us to book in your free one hour consultation. Um, but if you enjoyed the video, please do like and subscribe to our channel for more content related to Power BI, Power Platform, and Microsoft 365. Thank you.